everyone. My name is Lauren McLean. I'm also known as Lolly Knits on the internet. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about knitting, um, knitwear designing, and how I get inspiration from pop culture. Um, so I am a knitter, spinner, blogger, designer from the Boston area, and oh, that's me wearing one of my designs. And some of you may recognize it. It's called the Huntress Cow, and it's inspired by Katniss Everdeen. Um, <laughs> I see something similar in the audience. Um, some of you may have seen in the new movie, she wears this cool woven vest cowl thing, and a lot of knitters wanted it, including me, I wanted it. Um, so I ended up making a pattern um, that a lot of people have really, really liked. So my designs are often inspired by pop culture, not just the Hunger Games, but they sort of evolve organically because I want things or my friends want things and they nag me. And instead of buying something expensive from anthropology, I'd rather make it myself. Um, so you can sort of see, yeah. <laughs> those are my brother's Christmas presents this year. That I designed those. Um, little known fact, um, if you wear, if you have a beard, it keeps you warm while you're skiing. So they wore those skiing, got a lot of really funny looks. <laughs> um, so how do you actually design something? Knitting is just math, but it's really simple math. So, you know, if you can do third grade math, you can design something to knit. Um, it's really easy. Anyone can do it. I, if I can do it, anyone can. So what you're going to do first, say you want to design a hat. You just measure your head around your forehead. Then you grab some needles, you grab some yarn, you cast on some stitches, you knit for a while. Um, this is when you say, oh, this is too loose or too tight. You can sort of adjust um, there and you just sort of get used to what you've got to work with. It's really, you know, just try it, see how it is, see how it feels. And then uh, once you do that, then you're gonna measure your knitting and you're gonna calculate your stitches per inch. So say you have your heads, uh, your knitting is 20 stitches, four inches, it's five stitches per inch. And then you're gonna say, okay, so my head is 20 inches around. Um, I'm gonna cast on 20 times, uh, Let's see, five times 20 is, would be 200, and then you're like, oh. 100. 100, oh, thank you, math. <laughs> um, and then, so you're gonna make it a little smaller, um, and then you just knit it to you till it's long enough, cut your yarn, thread it through stitches, pull it tight. You've got a really simple hat, but that's basically just a blank canvas. Once you've got something like that, then you can, you know, make it however you want. You can change it, you can make it fancy, you can make a cupcake. Um, uh, and it's really not difficult to take a simple template and make it more complicated and make it more interesting. So, you know, you can add stuff. You can do <laughs> stitch patterns, you can do knitting and purling, you can do cables, ribbing, which makes hats more fitted around your forehead, lace, giant pom-poms. I'm personally a huge fan of pom-poms. They're not for everyone, but, <laughs> but I like them. And you can do anything you want. The world is your oyster. And that is what makes knitting and designing so much fun, is that you take something simple, some really simple steps, and you can make anything. So that sort of brings me to the hard part, but the fun part, which is inspiration. Your inspiration can come from anywhere. It can come from figures from history. You can get it from pop culture. You can get it from nature, from street art. Anything can inspire you. You can take inspiration from anywhere and translate it into knitting. And that is what makes it so fun and so creative is that no matter what inspires you, you can somehow take it and make it into knitting. So that brings me to sort of my last point, and that's thinking about knitting as an art versus a craft. Like knitting is a craft, but it can also be art. When you take something and you create something, you add something to what is already there, that's when it really gets down to being art. You can follow someone else's pattern too, and that's fine. You can do it perfectly. Your execution can be amazing. And you can follow your craft to the highest level. But when you do it your own way, when you add your own stuff, that's when it becomes art. And yeah, Totoro is knitting, I love it. <laughs> and that's just sort of what I wanted to tell you. Go out, make stuff, design. It's not hard, you can do it. If I can do it, you can. And just make art. Thanks, everyone.